guys it's taste pink welcome back and i have to tell you guys for this style i actually ran out of hair for the first time and it just made me improvise and just learn to create and have fun and that's how a lot of styles go for me you can be experimenting but then you find that something goes wrong but you gotta roll with it and that's exactly what i did to create this ombre sort of two-tone look so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look keep on watching be sure to subscribe because it's going to get even more lit and make sure that you hit that like button or smash that like button as they're saying if you want to see more content like this for this gorgeous curler style i'm using five packs of the zuri hollywood wave braid in the color 99j and each pack costs just under five dollars now i thought it would be fun to show you guys just how much i struggle when braiding my natural hair i for one struggle with parting as you can see that part is not straight okay it's not straight honestly so i like to use the front facing camera on my phone to record a little video and once i review it and i'm happy with it i continue going i don't sweat the small stuff and you know just stay focused on the prize okay which is ultimately a bomb hairstyle and i love using the fantasia hair growth carrot oil moisturizer for whatever reason my hair loves this and it definitely moisturizes and softens the hair which is perfect for this process now for the outer perimeter of my hair i like to incorporate a little bit of braiding hair i'm not sure i'm qualified to really tell you all how to go about doing this but i wanted to show you guys that with effort and you know optimism you can do this too And if you want a very neat looking braiding pattern, you know, take the ends of each cornrow and incorporate it into the next braid. This makes it a lot neater and cleaner. And that makes me feel better about it. And you guys give me all the love in the comments, which I definitely appreciate. And if you intend to use the knotless braiding pattern, be sure to connect your braids at the midpoint just before the crown or the widest part of your head. You don't want to go too far back. And as I moved to the left side of my head, got a little lazy, but I still, you know, I pushed through, but I give myself ample time so that I can be happy with the results in the end. I don't rush this process. This is where the future is looking very bright for the struggle braid gang. Okay, zigzag braids are it. I feel most comfortable braiding my hair like this in the back. And the great thing about zigzag braids is they provide double the volume. So you can crochet hair on the top and bottom of each zigzag braid. And I will, you know, clear that up as we move further into the tutorial. But make sure you guys secure those ends with either thread or by crocheting it through the cornrow. My scalp was very, very tense. So I love using an oil mixture and I like to put it in an applicator bottle and heat the oil up and then apply it to my scalp. It functions as this leave-in hot oil treatment, which is perfect and it's so relieving. And I love using a little bristle brush to further stimulate the scalp to help circulate blood flow. And I just let that set for 15 minutes and we're on to crocheting. Of course, crochet through the cornrow and you want to knot the hair anywhere from three to five times. You have to gauge how much you want to knot the hair based on its thickness or density. The more thick the piece of hair that you are crocheting in, the less times you want to knot the hair as it may become too bulky and it will unravel. As you guys can see, I'm using very small pieces. Here, I'm working at the base of the zigzag braid, just the base of it, still crocheting through it, but I'm focusing on the bottom portion of that zigzag braid because again, we're doubling the volume of hair per zigzag braid because we don't want our scalp peeking through. You want a very full, clean, no polished look. And now I'm working on the top of that same zigzag braid. Are you guys following me now? It makes sense. This is how you can get away with having a shabby braiding pattern, but it still looks fly. Like this is a secret. I did this back in 2015 and girl, that was a gem. I just brought it back.
Now, I have a little bit of free space. You know, my braiding, again, we struggle. So if you have free space, you can crochet hair into that general area. It still creates that same, you know, full voluminous look. And so, you know, you don't have as much of that free space showing. And you don't have to do the knotless method as I am doing right here. This is not something I would recommend with this hair texture. It just did not stay put. Maybe I need to knot the hair more, but I wanted to show you guys, do you see how small those sections of hair are and how tight the knots are? This is where you guys have to really, really perfect the technique, if nothing else, because this is how your knots will stay in place. And I tried the knotless method here, but again, it didn't work out. I even used shorter pieces of hair by cutting the hair in half and I was not happy with it. And this is where I ran out of hair and started using this deep purple color hair. Yes, I've mixed different hair textures, but they were, you know, very much similar. And I think it added to the overall look. And this is how you can create that two-tone type of style. But this is the flexibility you have to have when things go wrong. You always are looking, you know, at the brighter side of things. And that's what I did. And again, I love it. Now here I'm adding a ton of water to the hair along with some mousse. And this is really important to take out the shed hair because this hair will shed a little bit if the knots are very well secure. If they're not, girl, you're gonna have shedding all over the place. And I like to just trim the hair and give it a little bit of layers. And then I'm using my Jerome Russell Be Natural Temporary Hairspray. A lot of people, you know, may be overwhelmed by this. Does it transfer? Yes, it can transfer. But I'm someone who's very comfortable and very flexible. I don't mind it. If it gets on your skin, you use a cotton round with a little bit of toner or alcohol and clean it up. Very simple. Keep going. I'm working on concentrating the color at the root. So it creates that ombre effect. And I like a smooth transition between my hair color and the hair that I crocheted in. I just think that the hair color it just it looks more full once you add that deeper root color and I'm cleaning it up but girl this is how the style turned out I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something let me know by taking the polls what you want to see next comment below show me some love thank you so much for watching and just stay tuned to more of my videos and I'll see you in the next one